Hi kids, do you play games? Oops, what a silly question. Of course you do. Do you know any other way to have fun on the computers? Yes, there is. And um, that fun is nothing but learning or understanding the programming languages and writing some programs in those. You can develop games, you can uh, create some funny programs which can interact with you and then you can play around, you can show them to your friends and you can all together have a fun. Okay, let's start with one language. The language's name is Golang. Today we will understand, we will learn how to download this language. Then you will install that language and then we will just write one small program in Golang. Later in coming videos, we will explore this language more and have fun with it. Okay, before we start on this Golang, what you need to know? You first need to know the computer, how to open the computer, open I mean not open the hardware, but to boot to start the computer. Then you need to know what the Windows is or Linux, whatever operating system you use. Then on Windows, you must know how to create files, how to install something. Installation is not a great stuff. How to explore internet, how to surf internet, how to open browser. It may be a Google Chrome or Internet Explorer and download files from it and then copy paste. You need to know how to type something, some letters on your with the help of your keyboards. Okay. Let's start with downloading the Golang. Uh, let's go to Google and ask Google to download or to give me a Golang link. You, as soon as you type, Google gives you one link on the top and that link is the website of Golang. From here, you can download this language. Download Go. Once you complete the download, then it will here you can select Microsoft Windows or whichever operating system currently you are using download will begin shortly you'll see that here it is started downloading I'll just cancel this because I don't want it I have already downloaded and installed it once you complete the download you just need to install it installation is nothing but you click on the file and then it asks you for the next 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 you do it you finally finish it and it is done once go language is installed you need to write a program in some editor editors are nothing but where you write your programs so we will take help of visual studio code i am asking google to show me a page to download visual studio code so here it has shown me now in this website that is code.visualstudio.com here i can download visual studio code also once i download it i need to install same you are going to do you will install it next 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 finally finish and then it starts appearing in your start menu you just click on visual studio code once you click on it then it will open a window called Visual Studio Code like this. I don't want this welcome. Before we start with the Go, uh, we need to tell this Visual Studio Code that I want to do a programming in Go and give me the extension. So here from left the fifth icon is for extensions i go here i tell it go 
oops I had already installed it poor I'll just uninstall so that I can tell you how to install it back when you go here in the installation in extensions you can type go once you type go it will start searching for it and you just need to click on the install this will install a go extension this is the basic step that you need to do once you are done with this you no more need this extension what you need now is this blank visual studio code editor you double click on this icon anywhere in this open space it will create one empty file okay well now uh, I'm doing programming in Go so I need to save this file I'll just save this blank file you can press ctrl s to save there is another way as you see every editor you go to file then you click on save or save as and then you can save it but as we are smart kids we are not going to do that we will just click on ctrl s here in the save as type you select the go and then we will name our file name is my first program or hello or something like that i'll just name it hello okay now i i need to start with the program let's go to go site again and in their home page they have one small program that is hello we'll just copy this with ctrl c and we will go back to our editor we'll paste it here is it being pasted did we do something wrong looks like i did something wrong here oops two three times okay only one time so here it has pasted few statements what I'll do is I'll save this okay it is asking me for some extension which I don't want right now and then to run this program I will press F5 so if you see it something is happening okay in this debug console what you see here is hello and some Chinese character okay now I don't want these Chinese characters I want to have some conversation and that conversation let's go with Oggy Oggy and Oggy asks to cockroaches where is my home again press F5 it will replace that hello and Chinese characters with the Oggy where is my home okay now cockroaches need to answer dot print L L N and cockroaches what they can see on fire ha, ha, ha. it's funny for them right again save this press F5 once you do that you will again see something happening here and it has printed both the messages that we asked this go language to print okay for today this much only in the later videos we will come to know how to import different libraries what these functions are what how to take inputs from the user how to write output and so on okay bye for now